Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place, Planet Coaster. We are through the looking glass, people. By that I mean that we are over 5,000 people. I have to, my cat is blocking like part of the screen that has the terraforming tools, so can we actually, we can make like a, the world's smallest island or the world's smallest lagoon straight down. No, that looks horrible. Okay, let's leave it like that. A pockmark upon the earth. No, let's not. Um, flatten the foundation like so. Okay, sweet. Okay, so uh, what do we have to do now? Well, it really depends on what you want. Not you as the viewer. I don't care about that, obviously. Haha, <laughs> I kid. But at the same time, um, it, it depends what we want to do as the, the park expands here. Aesthetic work. Um, is something that I could see uh, happening here. It would be nice to get like more trees. Like we're never gonna build something right here. So even just to get that area kind of like decked out with like any kind of forestry whatsoever, I think is gonna make the park look nicer. Is it actually gonna affect people's enjoyment? Probably not. But I think I have to, you know, get myself out of the mindset that the only thing that matters is is people's enjoyment of. Uh, you know, when they're in the park. No matter where I go, the Whirly Rig song haunts me. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's get a hydraulic one going here. I bet we can hit 90 miles an hour, which we still have not done. No, we have. We just haven't built a coaster with 9 excitement. Target speed? 175 miles. No, it's not. 70 miles an hour seems fair. We don't. We don't necessarily want this to be, like, as high as possible. I wait with bated breath. Sir, surely it's been waiting more than three seconds. Okay, uh, I think that we may be uh, made a mistake. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, uh, redo, redo. Doesn't quite get to the top. So we're gonna have to do this again. Okay, I'll tell you what. What if? Oh God, no, no, no. Those those stats were good. Those stats were good. 175 miles an hour. <laughs> Do you think they're gonna die? I think they might die, but we'll we'll see. Either way, one thing's for sure: I bet they're gonna be able to make it up this fucking helix. Take them down slightly faster. Mostly, keep in mind this is also gonna like reduce the real estate, and by like the amount of real estate we're spending. And by take them down slightly faster, I mean we're gonna take them down at a 67 degree angle. Yo, didn't you read the memo? This roller coaster is for teens and adults only. Speed three, crank it up here. I have a, this is it, King to Ka. From Cedar Point. It's gonna make it. Comes down. Slows down, but not by much. Just enough to make people not crap their pants when they go through this corner. They will make it over the hill. They will not make it over the hill. This should be the highway on December 25th. So we catch you at the acceleration station. It really cranks up fear. But look at the excitement, though. The excitement is ridiculous. They don't make it up? You actually have to be kidding me. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's the last time I make one of these fucking coasters. Jesus Christ. Do they make it to the end? What happened? It looked like they, fly it off, they flew off the freaking track. They don't make it up to the top! I am actually losing it here. You experience my folly in creating roller coasters and we all have a good time together. Oh, you wouldn't. I hate you. Okay, all yellows. You know what? That's fine. This is not the Sprint 503. This is the Coldplay Simulator. Cause it is all yellows. Oh, uh, where did the Coldplay Simulator go? It fucking sucked. I tried to fix it. It still sucked. So I figured, why don't we just spend less money on a better coaster anyway? Um, and we'll just put down the game's pre-made one. Does this make me feel like a, a good person? No. I mean, it, remember what, I just want to point out. I said, what does the game want us to make? King the Ka? Go look up fucking King the Ka. That's what they built here. So I don't think that my strategy was necessarily bad. It was just, I mean, it was executed extremely poorly. Either way, um, we're going to place this. And basically, it's just 
you know, if, if you feel this is not down to force, this is still the cold play simulator. But if you if you feel bad about this, and you feel like you wasted your time watching the last episode, is it ever time wasted if it's time spent watching someone really bad at doing something do something? Answer? Possibly, like, definitely yes. Got an old-timey adventure train. We've already used this in another area of our park, but maybe we can, like, do this creatively in a way that looks cool. So, hit X, and then go to rotate. I want to rotate it, like, up. I want it to look like this train is coming out of the fucking ground. And then, we'll, we'll say that that's good, um, but we want to move it. You know what? Forget moving it. This is the space train now. And then, to obscure the fact that this is actually just, a, you know, coming out of the ground in a very weird fashion. I'll try to throw, like, a little bit of underground, like, subterranean smoke out here. And I know that there's a chance this will tank performance in this area. Throw down some fire as well. Just basically just throwing this down to make this look like it's a freaking hell train. And again, to, to kind of mildly obscure the fact that if you don't have this here, it sort of looks like it's just coming out of the ground, which it is. You know, we're basically just, we're lying to the people, but in a way that they are okay with, presumably. There you go. So we got a sweet-ass hell train here. Rest of it, as far as I'm concerned, is tree time. Throw in some sweet-ass... Oh, we don't really want alpine firs. The ash trees are huge. You know what? We don't have any dang maples over here. We're just gonna make, as we always do, a little bit of a forest with a little bit more density back around here. Because, like, we don't actually, uh want people to look that far back. Maybe not a Christmas tree. Blue furs, of course, have... You know, they've, they've accomplished a lot for me. I've gotten a lot of mileage out of these. Might be going a little overboard with the trees, but you have to accept as well. You know, there's not infinite customization options here for us to roll with. So, sure, we're probably throwing in a few too much green. Or a little too much green, if you will. But I hope you can understand where I'm where I'm coming from with my greenness here. So we're just gonna throw in a custom uh, cosmic cow here. The cosmic cow milkshakes, you know, is beloved. Okay, we've we've sunk that deep within the building here. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. We no, we didn't. Edit building R. Um, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. Wait, 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 come back. Scenery. Shops and Facilities. Custom. Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. Add to building. I mean, I just built one. But it's, it's sunk deep within the earth here. Do you have a problem? <laughs> what if we... Get out of here, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes! I don't even know where you are now. There's a Cosmic Cow Milkshake in here that just cannot be, like... Just get rid of this person. There's a Cosmic Cow Milkshake in here that cannot be assuaged. You might be needlessly keeping, like, an extra employee on staff as a result of this, but... Fuck it, dude. There you go. Now we got a Cosmic Cow Milkshake that's gonna be popular. And we'll just sink it within the surface of this building. So beautiful. Yes, I know. Cosmic cow. What about the genie in a bottle, baby? You gotta rub me the right way, honey. Can we fit this? We actually can. I love this idea if it works. Like, throw down the genie ride. Can we just place the entrance, like, right here? The other thing we do is place the end. No, we can't get around that. Okay, that's fine. We place the entrance right here. And the exit right here. 
and then it's like we have a ride within a ride I'm hopeful that this gives like track scenery uh, to both rides I don't know either way it just looks pretty cool okay well I'm obviously missing something this is gonna be the worst priority pass of all time but at least it keeps HR off my freaking back there we go the genie one has been open we're gonna call this Aladdin's shoe horn Makes perfect sense, right? And we're gonna have a play the Whirly Rig song, please know, okay, I have heard your cries and I've decided to not make the Whirly Rig play there. Sorry, all you boobly folks out there. Lazily throw down some bison skulls. I don't know, what else people like? Belt drives? Hell yeah, that's like super western. Can't even shake a stick in Montana without hitting a freaking belt drive. And black spruce trees do not get me started. Boy, if I had a nickel for every time I've seen a black spruce tree in the wilds of Montana, I mean, I, you couldn't. I couldn't have that many nickels because the treasury hasn't printed that many. A Crisolta bush? Crisolta, mind if I do? Is there always around? A cooking frame? Everybody got one of those on there. 23rd birthday where I lived. You didn't get one of those. You weren't cool. That's how you knew who was cool. What's your Q rating? Green? 41, huh? That's pretty bad. Uh, what if I... Can I tempt you with a deciduous rock or two? This one's like an iceberg. Like half it's sunk beneath the surface because you're like, I don't know. There could be anything. Um, what if I throw in a dragon? No, the dragon does not fit. Come on, you guys want to go on the genie. Free rides on Aladdin's slipper today. No? Even the kids are walking by. I'm like, what is this? Excuse me, HGTV named this the worst themed park in uh, North America. Can you explain your feng shui? I can't, okay? I can't explain my feng shui. I don't even know how to spell it. That's a lie. F-E-N-G-S-H-U. I don't mind if I do. F-E-N-G-S-H-U. I don't know by now. Come on, just get me into the green. 60%? What if we throw in like a hitching post? That's like, that's westerny. That's where you hitch your horse to. Everybody knows that. 62%? Are you actually fucking with me? Sink some iron gears, like, onto the queue. I can't see what could possibly go wrong here. The, the wife was like, let's go on Aladdin Slipper. And the husband was like, no, it cost too much money. I just saw it happen. 75%. Okay. The question is, can you even stand on these things? People want to go on Aladdin Slipper. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. What are the stats? Not horrible, actually. You know, it's the cold, it's the real Coldplay simulator. It's like all yellow. I have faith that people will figure that one out. Either. Oh, the... Exit of the ride is not so right. Yeah, I've made it so you can't leave this ride. Thank God the episode didn't end in the meantime. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I would like the roller coaster to still exist if possible. That one's my bad. Um, yeah, if you could test the underground worm colony, that would be sweet. Because that coaster was doing great for me. Um, so that's the danger of having a roller coaster this close, I suppose. You can accidentally delete it. Grab a cobblestone. It doesn't need to be that wide. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, paths. Just delete this, please. What, you guys are on your ass now? It doesn't make any dang sense.
That's what I think of your fucking priority passes. Um, no, you don't need a priority pass, Q. Operations disable priority pass. This ride no longer has a priority pass. It, it, it just can't open. I think we need to rebuild the queue. What have I done? Everything was fine and happy. And now, there, oh, there we go, there we go, open. We're, we're good. Please open as well. I, I, trust me, underground worm colony is gonna really pop. We dumped out a lot of people into this section of the park. Um, but that was, well, let's be honest, that was a mess. We need to throw down some more, like, is there just cowboy scenery? Hell yeah. Because we lost, uh, we lost scenery before. Because of the fact that we had, uh, we had to delete a bunch of trees. So I'm hoping that, you know, this trio of cowboys here is going to get us back into the green. Yeah, we're at 75. That's fine. Aladdin's shoehorn should start attracting people into the queue now. Hopefully. I don't believe we have a 360 power. It's yellow on everything except green on fear. But we can do, like, exactly the same thing we did uh, with Aladdin's shoehorn. And we basically just set up a... Uh, a sweet ass entrance and exit combo here and then hopefully this amps up the scenery of the underground worm colony as well again i want this to be like i want this to be like metropolitan tokyo i don't want the terrain too uneven for path terrain too uneven for path how so well we can always move that that's not the end of the world but all right, yeah, place entrance. We'll just move that over to this side. Okay, place exit. Move the exit first. Move the entrance next. There you go. This is not 360 power. This is Major Nelson's console launch. And uh, we're just going to get this bad boy started here. You ever notice, like, playing Planet Coaster has made me realize how many bushes are out there in the real world. The answer is... Oh, let me clickbait you. The answer might surprise you. People are, like, in love with this park, dude. And I honestly can't blame you. Like, when I take a macro view of things, like, it's beautiful compared to what it used to be like. I'm thinking that with the real estate we have left, like, let's... We, we got a lot. Like, we've covered less than half for sure. I almost want to spend, like, a hundred grand right now terraforming. Literally just bringing everything up to the level uh, that will that will leave it flat. What's my reasoning for this? Flat ground is much easier to deal with. Now, is this overkill? Perhaps. We are also burying some trees within within the earth here. But I stand by this. It's just like Astroneer. Now I've got two series on YouTube where all I do is uh, hit WASD while holding the mouse down to smooth out the ground. But you gotta admit, there's something satisfying about it. Is there not? Am I wrong in this situation? We'll fill in the remaining gaps as is necessary later. But what this does is give me a blank slate to create a, a sweet, I don't know, romantic retreat. And then put a roller coaster on it that goes... 400 miles an hour and knocks your fucking testicles out through your Adam's apple. And if you don't have, you know, either of those, it gives you both. But you gotta buy a priority pass. Fair trade? Have we finally hit critical mass? Great song. This job is so much easier to training. I mean, it's a pretty complex experience. First... You ask them if they want a priority pass, and if they say no, you suck them in the jaw! What's happening there? Cat, you can't be up there! Oh, you can't be on the computer, you silly cat. I know it's a fan. It's a cult. It's the fan. It's 32 degrees Celsius in here. You wanna... You wanna get on that fan. I feel you. I wanna get on that fan as well. Can't wait to open the door when this episode's done. You don't even know, man. Is he bouncing up and down on his udders? This is too hot for YouTube. I don't like the way she's saying boing, boing, boing either. 
I bet some of you sickos do. It's the classic, like, this is the one thing with behavior in Planet Coaster that bothers me. People are thirsty. Oh, I'm thirsty. You put down a water store? Oh, that place looks busy. I'll try someplace else. I'm trying to satisfy your myriad demands. If only you could meet me halfway. I don't know. We put another drink shop down here. It gets busier. Oh, I wish that it wasn't so busy. Like, work with me. Nobody's going to fucking Cosmic Cow Milkshakes over here. It's two seconds away. That's going to do it for this episode. We've expanded a little bit. It's sort of working out. I think we're getting there. We got 6,600 people. The park's growing like crazy. We introduced a little bit of unrest. We terraformed like crazy. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. New episodes come out every day at 2 p.m. PST. I'll see you next time.